Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Pahati Life YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, welcome. And for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. As you can see, we have the charts pulled up. We have a ton to talk about. Before I dive into the week ahead, I really want to ask if you are feeling, if you're one of the many who are feeling the effect of Sun and Saturn square. Not only can this energy bring up some frustration and tension within you, it can also create boundaries, which are not a negative thing. That's very positive, especially when it comes to you um, carving out time to spend with your sister, your brother, your siblings, friendships, or to immerse yourself to indulge in a good book or something that helps to stimulate your mind, like really refreshing your mind. So it doesn't have to be a negative thing. It can be very, very constructive, especially if you know how to work with these energies. Also, we have Mars now currently entering into the sign of Taurus. Now he's officially transiting through Taurus. Taurus is very stubborn, very resistant to change, steady, constant, ground loves a good quality luxurious tangible thing that it can put its hands on whether it be food whether it be fabric whether it be textures whatever the case is these energies are already in the in the works they're already in effect we're already feeling them I'm wondering if you're feeling these transits now again how these energies have already shown up they went directly they went there direct on the 9th which was the weekend Sunday I believe we are going to be feeling this all throughout the all throughout the week so don't dis discard this information really try to set it and apply it to your life but um it can create some some tension within yourself if you are someone who is on the receiving end of a boundary or if you are someone who is has been cut off or you are cutting some someone or something off this is when you kind of feel the need to kind of sever that tie especially when it comes to how people are communicating how they're expressing themselves or the ways that they struggle within really following through on promises that um, you were expecting them to keep or they were expecting you to keep so that's one way that this energy can show up the other way again is what it was I was saying of you just kind of enforcing your bubble and uh, creating a boundary, creating a, a blockage between things that wish to harm your peace, wish t to confuse you when it comes to your anxiety, when it comes to your spirituality or your spiritual practices. These are things that you simply will not allow it to cross the line any further. If you are not feeling this transit yet, don't be surprised if you start feeling it as the week unfolds. Um, because everyone's chart is different, right? But we are all under the same umbrella of energies here, okay? So we do have a quick word from our sponsor of today's video, Ritual Vitamins. I'm so excited to be able to partner with them. After that, we are gonna dive into the full astrological breakdown of the week ahead. So make sure that you are continuing to watch and I'll talk to you in two seconds grateful for my partnership with Ritual Vitamins who prioritize health, transparency, and do not compromise on quality. They lay it all out on the open with their ingredients directly on the label. The ingredients that they use are premium, which elevates your overall well-being because each high quality ingredient was carefully selected to prioritize natural bioavailable forms to ensure that your body gets the nutrients that it not only craves, but needs in order to thrive. Ritual Vitamins also undergoes vigorous testing for purity and potency. The Virgo who prioritizes mind, body, soul, and spirit, this is something that I move in alignment with as well. And lastly, there's no nasty additives, so you could say goodbye to artificial fillers, colors, and preservatives. It's simply crafted with your health in mind. Now, many of you know that for lately, my entire focus has been body, mind, soul, and spirit. That's been a big part of me returning back to intentional consumption with balance. This means that making sure that everything I'm consuming, whether it be food, information, energy, that it be pure and something that is high vibrational and supportive of me. Thank you so much to Ritual Vitamins again for 
sponsoring our video. Thank you so much for prioritizing our overall health. And I wanna tell you guys too, something else that would be wonderful and beneficial for you is to look out for your gut health. They have so many different vitamins that you can choose to start prioritizing. Something that is honestly overlooked in today's society. A lot of our health begins in our gut, along with maintaining your overall well-being with multivitamins. And for me right now, prenatal vitamins. If you're curious about trying out Ritual, feel free to scan my QR code or use my code BAHATILIFE25 for 25% off your first order. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and move forward with the rest of today's work. All right, darlings. So thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, like I said, these transits that are were under the influence They've already occurred, right, on the 9th, the sun squaring off with Saturn, Mars transiting through Taurus. These transits are really encouraging us to slow down significantly. I don't know if you guys are sensing this and feeling this, but there's more energy now that's making us slow down and, ref and reflect. Even the fire sign, right, like when we have... Um, Chiron transiting through Aries, which is very self-starter. As soon as Mars exited out of Aries and entered into Taurus, things slow down significantly. And the parts of you that may be activated and may be quick to react are being challenged by Chiron that's saying like, listen, I know this is how you would have normally dealt with things in the past, but within your own growth or growing yourself now, what is the best way for you to reflect on this anger that it is that you have? Because sometimes when it comes to healing, we start understanding that this rage, that this anger that we have is really disappointment, sadness, hurt, or grief. So within this, this is not something that we want to rush through. We want to slow down. We want to take our time. And we, if we don't, we find that we'll accidentally sabotage ourselves or sabotage our healing. Chiron still transiting slowly through Aries is teaching us the importance of slowing down and even fostering nurturing our masculine energy how we protect ourselves how we stand up for ourselves how we speak up for ourselves etc etc also how we how we view ourselves right um do you see yourself as someone who is impulsive do you see yourself as someone who's immature do you see yourself as someone who's lacking in courage these are things that Chiron transiting through Aries is still teaching us, you know, major, major lessons that we are going to hold on to and we are going to be changed by ultimately for the rest of our lives. It's worth it for us to slow down. Having said that, even though life is calling us to slow down, it doesn't mean that our minds <laughs> and the way that we are exchanging ideas or how quickly we are bouncing conversations and connecting with others it doesn't mean that that slows down it, there's a lot of opportunity these months or this these few weeks i should say to connect to engage in groups in networking in community and expanding it could be did I say networking? It could be you networking your brand, your ideas, connecting with others who have like-minded interests. If you are not honoring this, you may find that you may be missing opportunities. Let's say you're someone who is shy or you've gotten so accustomed to a certain way of living your life that you don't really necessarily put yourself out there. Remember, Chiron and Aries is teaching you the benefit of being assertive, asking for your needs, or even creating the space that you would like to see created, doing it for, for not only you, but for others, the benefit of the community. So it's very methodical. It's very impulsive in some way because you are finally taking steps towards an idea or a way of life or a project or relationships or friendships that you normally wouldn't have done but even still with that it's methodical it's step by step it's ritualistic to some extent it doesn't just jump on this opportunity and you know put like jump off of it to something else it's there's a lot of time here that the planets that the universe is asking you to allocate to dedicate to building what it is that you need Again, this is areas of reading and comprehension. This is areas of friendship, um, communities around you, especially within your neighborhood, and um, 
siblings, developing, spending time with your siblings or friendships that feel like like sister brother like they could be your family okay so let's go ahead and move forward into some of the more difficult transits that we are going to be feeling this week and when i say difficult i never 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 i do not believe that anything is all good or all bad it just is what it is a challenge from the lens of astrology is something that can create enough tension to to promote change that is positive and healthy within us or it can leave you feeling destructed, like destroyed, destructive, etc., etc. It all depends on how you're working with these energies. Now, having said that, did you notice that when I started talking about Mars transiting through Taurus, that there was this red line between Mars and Pluto? Pluto is currently retrograde, transiting through the sign of Aquarius. When we have this red line here, in this in this case this is called a square this is when the two energies of these planets cannot see eye to eye they're actually in tension with each other they are creating a lot of conflict and then and a lot of tension that is something that we can't avoid this could be something that really has been pushing your patience pushing your boundaries this could be someone who is crossing the line who is abusing their power this could be a person in a position of power that you may find negative or i hate to say this but almost like a waste of time like how they're moving you don't necessarily agree with how they're operating as a leader or as a person in any or maybe it's someone's intentions maybe you're getting a sense that someone or something is manipulative or not constructive and not healthy this is where patients can really snap here so where where to the benefit within this right and where to look for how to work with this energy is to see within yourself parts of you that you truly do not want to settle compromise within with others within an organization within your relationship with work within how you take care of your body even if it means that you are working out you have a goal we don't want to over abuse ourselves because these types of transits can create like a snap it can create pain it can create um more problems than constructive type of energies here if we're not careful this is wonderful if you are someone who is goal oriented and, and ambitious but what happens when you can't hit that goal as quickly as you wanted to we need to give ourselves a lot of grace there's also this reaction this reactive energy that is happening within the globe right now when we are talk when we're looking at pluto transiting through aquarius aquarius always looks at humanity it always looks at the globe it always looks at how not different countries it looks at how human beings regardless of where they were born regardless of their cultural how many things we have together and how can we honor that how can we acknowledge that how can we appreciate that and how much we all have in have similar when mars is squaring off with pluto pluto retrograde right now there's a lot of issues that have been squashing that sense of humanity and connection when it comes to humanitarian goals that make everybody feel fair and everybody have freedom now granted it's not always an easy answer but this is something that pluto retrograde through the sign of aquarius is helping to sort out through detachment by emotionally detaching yourself not just us in our communities but all across the all across the all across the globe all across the world how can i pull myself and my own beliefs out of this situation so that i can see what is fair and right for for humanity as a whole and how can what's happening over there how can I see how that impacts us over here? Even it's not as far away from me as I think that it is. Even though Aquarius does connect to detachment, it doesn't mean detachment from emotion or feelings of our ability to have empathy and to sympathize with someone or to be compassionate towards someone experiences. It's to help us to pull our, our, our emotions away, to detach from our emotions so that we can be able to reason and see like this is not fair and I will not... I, I, I will not or I should not or I could not settle for this. For some of you guys, yes, this is humanitarian issues, but for others, it could be larger issues within your own life of fairness and equality and ways that you may have felt overconsumed by 
things that are no longer important or valuable to you. We have a lot of Uranus and Taurus to thank for that. So many energies right now. By energies, I mean people. We are craving a sense of stability and to ground ourselves. And the way that that once looked in the past isn't what it looks like today. You may have been, I've been talking about this a lot like a broken record, you may have been practicing minimalism, getting rid of stuff and things, and realizing that none of that was important to begin with, selling it or giving it away as gifts or whatever the case is, because now you're prioritizing other stuff, especially when it comes to beauty. Um, Beauty and aesthetic is something. I, I know that we pivoted pretty greatly from talking about like global politics and humanity to now talking about like advances in in um, the makeup industry. Also culturally, we're not. Let's say if you're from the U.S., you won't be you won't stay with U.S. brands. You'll start exploring different cultures when it comes to cosmetics. If you're in Japan, then you may find that you're not going to be stuck with just Japanese brands and what's in your culture, or what your country made you will begin to explore other cultures and start to incorporate them in your world. So that's something else too that seems superficial, but it's just kind of one one minor but super important way that the world is connecting, even in things that seem very superficial and insignificant, but it is, it is significant. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for Mars and Pluto square, especially retrograde. It just can be very explosive um it can be very violent it can be very reactive not just you but also remember that there are other people in the world under the same transits as you like we're all under the same umbrella we're all under the same stars so they may be very triggered quick 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 triggered people may you may see some road rage you may see fighting you may see things that just seem like avoidable like when you look back at it you're like was it really that serious did we really have to fight about this the other things that i want you guys to look at for the sake of the self is watch what you are drawn to watch what you are attracted to venus currently transiting through gemini she's having a hard time kind of settling within herself and choosing just one thing and when she is in this beautiful beautiful i want maybe not beautiful but really cute sextile with chiron chiron transiting through aries again it's whatever it is that you're attracted to it might seem it's not a bad thing it's it seem it doesn't seem like it has a long a lot of longevity but it does have purpose because it feels good in the moment and that's okay um but to some people here it's like to what extent are you willing to go or what are you willing to compromise or give up in the pursuit of something that in the moment just speaks gives you a sense of purpose and value for example let's say if this is a relationship this is someone who has an immediate connection and vibe with someone if they're in a relationship they kind of flirt around with it and it ends up being detrimental in the long haul it ends up creating a huge fight or the tension the chemistry between the two is like is it worth is it really worth um exploring that or is it something that is temporary that it may initially there the chemistry there might feel very like have a lot of depth or it might feel like it's healing in some way and maybe it is but it's not going to last so that's something to keep in mind keep in mind out uh, keep in mind out for on wednesday mercury the planet of communication currently transit through gemini so we still have a lot of um mental chit chatter a lot of inner talk a lot of um for some of you guys anxiety or adhd like hyperactivity is going to be squaring off with saturn now this is oh the way to work with this transit is to begin to really start to implement and make serious some plans that it is that you have for the future for your life for your business for meal planning girl i don't know um, this is going to be exact on Wednesday, but again, these transits are pretty tight and close enough that you're already feeling them the, the majority of this week. Some of you guys are exploring, making plans to travel, you're booking plane tickets, train tickets, reserving cars, reserving flights, whatever the case is. I definitely see that. This is about just kind of locking those things in, so it doesn't need to be necessarily negative. It's very serious. It can also be sarcastic. Um, like a sarcastic type of energy, like something that you're just like, yeah, you won't. And then they do. And you're just like, holy shit. I didn't know they were so serious about this, especially when we have transits that are playing around. But they also tend to kind of latch on to something and make a commitment to it. When it comes to travel, when it comes to parties, when it comes to group 
group events, um, like building like, I don't know why I'm, I want to say like a book club. Gemini loves to read. I don't know if you guys are, I was actually thinking this is so, <laughs> just a little switch here. I was actually thinking about creating a book club, but right now I'm reading a lot of horror, <laughs> which my mom is like, why are you reading horror when you're pregnant? You should be reading, I don't even know what she would want me to read, but it's just, it's really entertaining. And I just finished The Shining in six or seven days. I don't know, but I was just talking to my, my, my partner about it, just really talking his ear off. And he was like, have you ever considered like joining a book club? <laughs> Um, he likes to read too, but I, I really, I'm a reader and I blast, I blast through and my sister, th oh my gosh, guys, tell me how my sister lives in England, right? She doesn't read horror books. My, if you knew my sister, you'd be like, there's no way that we would ever see Kayla reading a horror book. Tell me how she, she just got back from Vietnam, but she started reading. She was reading the same book as me, The Shining and we were on the same chapter when we found out that we were reading the same book. How weird is that? I felt so oddly connected to her, which actually now that I'm saying that, it makes a lot of sense with the sun transiting through Gemini and Gemini ruling like our sisterhood, our like our, our siblings and our, wow. And the connection, the ties, despite distance, like her being on the total opposite end of the world, like in a totally different, and we just are, we just were so connected with in that way. I was, I literally screamed, like I literally screamed. She's more, she's a Leo, but I swear she's more grounded than I am and more, I don't say stable, but I can be very emotional and I'll like sh express myself and my excitement very quick when her excitement is kind of like this base <laughs> level that doesn't change. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Uh, oh, because books. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking about creating a book club, but I don't want to overcommit. You guys know I have a lot going on always. Um, but I considered it. If someone has a book club, especially with their, if they're reading horror books, or if you want to talk about it, I'm here. Just reach out to me, um, and maybe we'll get a little something, something going on. Anyway, I did finish The Shining, though, if you guys are looking for a horror book or something entertaining to read. It was terrifying. It really scared me, especially the last few chapters. Oh, my God. It was such a ride. Okay. Um, yeah. Back to the astrology charts. I would say on Wednesday, again, uh, Mercury scoring off of Saturn, even though it's going to be direct on on Wednesday, again, we're are already under the influence of this this transit. So just keep your eye out for that. Keep your eye out for that. But you can use this as a great way to formulate plans, to make a group, um, to, yeah, to make concrete plans. However, at the same time, you don't want to force or force others or to be forced by others to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. Also, random, focus on hydration too. Um, Saturn transiting through Pisces right now can create... Uh, dry barren energy when it comes to water and the body and electrolyte balance so make sure that you're focusing on your hydration it is summer here in the U where i'm at and um brutally hot absolutely brutally hot we've got some storms coming through i can't wait moving forward uh, uh thursday the 13th this is when the beautiful beautiful sun transiting through gemini is going to be in a cute once again a cute uh sextile with chiron this energy is going to be great for healing journal journaling having a delightful conversation with someone about your feelings or understanding where someone else is coming from and especially when it comes to friendships network community neighborhoods still gemini is all that energy that's you're going to keep hearing me say this again and again but that's because collective conscious sun is transiting through gemini not only that but on the 14th the day after the 13th mercury the planet that rules our mind communication and natural is a natural ruler of gemini is going to be directly conjunct the sun so these energies are going to be even more highlighted actually now that i'm saying this this would probably be a wonderful day the days around it for me to talk about the full moon that's going to be coming because this is a wonderful time to articulate yourself probably why i'm struggling today i'm definitely feeling the gemini energy of jumping around my heads all over the place i've got so many different ideas i'm just excited to talk to my friends here on the internet um i can't help myself it just feels really good also like one way that just came to me that i was just thinking about this if you think of all of these planets right now transiting through gemini it's giving magazine 
right? Instead of it being like a novel or a dictionary that is serious or a thesaurus that has information or a book that is has thrills, that would be more Pluto aspect. It's giving cultural magazine, like pop cultural, like or activities, hobbies, like uh, hobby magazines. It's not something that you hold on to, you read it, you throw it away. That's the type of energy that we have here this week. It's It's channeling, if this week was a piece of literature, it would be a hobby or pop cultural reference gossip magazine. I, I that's my <laughs> that's my metaphor I'm pretty proud of creating that I hope that that helps to put it into perspective some things within those magazines it can feel triggery like let's say if you're on the receiving end and the gossip is about you that can be painful it can be frustrating it can be triggering it can it can trigger you or if you're consuming it and it's a part of your job it can be successful if you're a YouTube blogger and you talk about current events and celebrity stuff on the flip side, it could be just entertaining and just something that you flip through, or it could be absolutely irritating to you. It just depends on who you are as a person, but at the end of the day, the energy remains the same. It's just how you are digesting it and what you do with it. So on Sunday, the very last day, this is going to be leading us into the next week. Venus is going to be squaring off with Neptune. This is, again, one of those times where it's beautiful to get lost in illusions and fantasy and things that we want for ourselves and how we see you know, love, romance, what we're attracted to. But when it comes to longevity, it's more about ex enjoying the moment instead of expecting the moment to last forever. Be okay with things being temporary, being okay with learning with the lessons of the moment instead of locking yourself in because that's when you start having disappointment. Do you guys have any questions? Do you have any questions about this chart? Do you have any questions about making big house purchases about someone's telling you their feelings during this time are you talking about your feelings do you have any questions about spending money finances resources jobs go ahead and let me know down in the comments i'm going to read them and answer as many as i can make sure that you do include your your sun and your rising sign specifically if it's an emotional question like having to do with your emotions for example love or your feelings make sure that you include your moon outside of that i should be good on being able to give you a quick answer. Also keep in mind, I give very specific answers to a general audience. I'm the real deal when it comes to astrology, so I would need to look at your entire astrology chart to give you an exact answer, but for what we can do on YouTube and for quick answers, there is something to be said for having an open-ended question and answer. Things that are just bothering you right now, things that are going on in your life, I'll be able to answer them for you okay the best of my ability so i'm gonna go ahead and sign off thank you again to ritual for sponsoring today's video thank you guys for tuning in if you're not subscribed please subscribe give this video a thumbs up if it helped you or if you're vibing with my energy until then i'll see you guys in my next one bye